happened today. Kim Kardashian agrees to pay $1.26 million to see, settle SEC cryptocurrency promotion charge. So she out here telling people what to do. <laughs> Blade Daywalker said a D and a squeegee. <laughs> Let me lighten it up. Let me lighten it up. So Kim got to pay the money. Okay. She said, go ahead. And she posted on her account. Go ahead and go buy it up, y'all. Go buy it up, y'all. Here you go. 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 So Kim K on Monday today agreed to pay 1.26 because she said, we not going to take this down that road because I know daggone well that I was wrong. Shout out to Tom Etheridge. I see you, sir. Got to run. Here's my ties. I appreciate you. And thank you for stopping by. Um, anybody in here now, please go ahead and like the stream. If you are listening, please go ahead and subscribe. Anyone who um, is on the replay, please make sure that you leave a comment and also um, subscribe to the channel, please. And like the video. I appreciate you. So, uh, brought, so charges were brought against her, which I didn't even know about this. I just saw this today, um, by the securities and exchange commission for promoting cryptocurrency Ethereum max without disclosing the fact that she was being paid for the promotion. Now I know we all know that anything the Kardashians is um, putting out that's not their kids is going to be a promotion that they're getting paid for. It's like, that's just a given and hell their kids might even be getting it too. Right? So in a press release, SEC said its investigation found Kardashian have received 250 K to promote the cryptocurrency on her IG, a fact she failed to disclose. Mm, mm, mm. As part of the settlement, Kardashian will pay 260K in disgorgement, repayment of her pr promotional fee, plus accumulated interest. Damn, and a $1 million fine. Now, mind you, I'm not saying it's a lot, but it's got to be hard to give up all that daggone money, okay? Um... Aside from the financial penalty, Kardashian has agreed not to promote any crypto assets for three years. That's some loss of money, it looks like. If she was being paid um, $250,000 and then whatever comes off of that, you know what I mean? And then you know other people will come. Like, they clean it up. Trust and believe. Trust and believe they clean it up. We already know that, but I know they didn't want to pay this money. I know she didn't want to pay this money, but instead of going to court, in my opinion, I think she did the right thing. Just go ahead and pay it because you know you can make it up later. Th I had not heard none of this. I'm telling you, I know none of this was going on. So when this popped up today, I was like, what in the world? I don't know if y'all knew, but child, this is a lot. Shout out to LIW213. Thank you so much for the support. To all those who think that women's shouldn't be held accountable whenever they commit terrible crimes, remember this. Hell is full of women who couldn't be held accountable. Now, listen, I don't know who in hell, but I'm telling you, they can be and should be held accountable. So whatever that change needs to be made in order to do it, we are not going to sit around here and continue to just ignore what is going on. That's a disservice to women. Honestly, at the end of the day, it's a disservice to obviously everyone else. Because other people got to suffer just because it's a woman? No, no. There's th those people. One of the people with the PNB rock, not to get off the subject, is a woman. So should she be absolved just because she's a female? So then, as soon as um allegedly Hope Gazelle something happens with her, with her, 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 him her child that person something happens with that person. Do they just, are they able to just be like, oh no, I'm a woman and have it absolved. And when they say, oh no, you a man. You know what I mean? No, it shouldn't be based off of anything as far as gender. It should be, did you do it or not? Did you do it or not? That's it. That's all. Kim did it. At least Kim, Kim cop to it. Now, mind you, it's because she ain't want to lose no more money. So she actually was smart because this could have been a bigger thing than what it is. Shout out to S. Dot. Hurricane Kim K coming through again. Now with Ray J coming. If Ray J is still coming, this could be more of a problem for her if that happens. Mm, 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 mm. Um, the press release notes that Kardashian has neither admitted to nor denied the findings. So she pled out no contest, basically. She don't have to say I did it or I didn't do it. All right, girl. She did what she was supposed to do. She a lawyer anyway, right? 
She ain't even need nobody. She did this all on her own. Go girl, go girl. In a statement shared with Forbes, Kardashian's lawyers, um, Kardashian's team said she fully cooperated with the SEC and is pleased to have resolved this matter, adding that she wanted to get this matter behind her to avoid a protracted dispute so she can get back to getting on Instagram half naked, okay? I translated that for y'all, okay? And she ain't want to lose no more money. So she wasn't getting in front of um the judge saying, I'm a black woman. Are you doing this because I'm, wait, what are they? Armenian? I'm an Armenian woman. You can't do this to me. I'm Armenian. Oh my God, I'm Armenian. You can't, you know my husband is Kanye West. If they not divorced, you know what my husband is. Do you know who my mother is? Oh my God. Oh my God. Child, no. She said, let me go ahead and face the facts. Take it on the chin and move forward because it's more important to get home to them four kids and the rest of them and rest of the clan, the K clan. OK, shout out to Casey, I think it was. And to get back to life so I can get back naked so I can get back on and make some more money. <laughs> Murder face said Armenian lives matter. Exactly. Exactly. We got to get back to it. She ain't losing no money. She ain't losing no sleep. She going to do what's best for her, her brand, and her family. Maybe we need to go ahead and take that page out of the book instead of sitting there in front of cops trying to act all big and bad, nasty, and angry. And then when someone turn around and say, black women are angry, oh my God, oh my God, you can't talk about a black woman. Protect black women, protect black women. You don't hear Kim K saying none of that. None of it. Child, you can't tell. Mm, anyway, when celebrities or influencers endorse investment opportunities, including crypto asset securities, especially since I think crypto is in the tank, right? I don't pay attention to it. So I really don't know, but I think it's in the tank like everything else, though. It doesn't mean that these investment products are right for all investors. Miss Kardashian's case also serves as a reminder to celebrities and others that the law requires them to disclose to the public when and how much they are paid to promote investing in securities. That's right. Exactly. And shout out to Selma. The Kardashians must be the luckiest folks on earth because Martha Stewart was jailed for less. She was. Okay. She absolutely was. Thankful or not thankfully, because I don't care about Martha Stewart, but she was able to parlay that and come out on top. Lucky her. You know, they could have ignored her and said, we done with you, child. But she hooked up with who? Snoop. OK. And she made that thing work. Shout out to Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg. Um, blah, 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 blah. It says cryptocurrency market real quick, because I don't think the rest of this matters, has cratered since the start oh yeah of the year celebrities who previously promoted them have come under criticism despite their growing popularity crypto tokens remain highly volatile and unregulated assets and critics argue that celebrity endorsements expose them to people who may be unaware of their risks now this is what i got to say about that if you're gonna sit up here and do something because kim k kanye or anybody else says to do it you deserve what you get because this is another indication of soda f what so because Kim Kardashian said to do it, you do it. And then you wonder how stuff like like people who do mass, uh, you know, deletions of themselves because someone told them to do it. Can't think of his name right now. I think it's Koresh maybe or something. Do those things. And it's like, how did this happen? Because people too busy following some damn body else. When are we ever going to hold ourselves and people accountable for what they choose to do? I don't give a damn. If Kim said to do it, I, you know, she ain't my people. So I don't give a damn if George, Idris, Leonardo, okay? Those my peoples, y'all. I don't give a damn what they say. They ain't got nothing to do with me. Do what you want, get your money. But that don't mean that I got to go and follow what they say. So all these people who are going and following what other people say, specifically celebrities, you going to talk to, you going to follow someone about um, money? You go um, talk to JT, the licensed accountant. Shout out to Pocket Watching with JT. You don't sit up here and say, oh, Kim K. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you, um, Black Jack. Jim Jones. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. This is crazy to me. Oh, I mean, listen, I'm not saying that they shouldn't disclose. I absolutely believe that they should. I 
absolutely believe that they should. However, this is the same difference as those people that are talking about the tender, tender, child, the tender swindler. He did this to make me feel good and I gave him all my money. Well, biatch, that's on you. Why are you giving people money that you know you can't afford to give them? I did them videos a long time ago. I'm just saying, I'm tired. I'm tired of this. I'm not accountable for what I do. I know y'all tired of me. BTP, consi your consistency inspired me to continue this YouTube grind. Thank you, sir. You're doing the damn thing over there. You'll be at 10,000 in no time as well. Shout out to B BTP. I appreciate you. Thank you all for being here. Please go ahead and like this stream if you have not. Please and thank you. And subscribe if you have not. Please and thank you.